Welcome to Searching with Sage, line 50, version 12. We're going to have a look at the search facility um, at an introductory level in this tutorial. First of all, we're going to look at trying to find a client. The first client we're going to try and find is Landscape uh, and Design. In fact, it's called FG Landscape and Design. For this search, we're just going to um, search for the word landscape. So we come and we click our mouse on the word search. And we look at the join tag and where is going to be the correct terminology. Then we move across to the field. If we click on that, there's a drop down arrow to the right. So we're going to look down the list for um, account name. There we are, account name and it's going to be equal to and we want the word landscape so we're going to put a star for everything in front of before the word landscape and a star for um, anything that it comes after the E in landscape so we click on there and no, nothing has come out and that is because um, for reasons best known to the uh, Sage software you need a space between that first star and landscape. So that's a really good tip. So we click on a cl apply and up comes FG landscape and design. And now, quite obviously you can see here that there is a space between the G and the L. So I close that and to bring back the full list. We take the mouse up to the icon here and we click on that and that brings the full list back. That's a fairly simplistic search to find somebody with a list of only 30 clients it's not too difficult to go down here but we can take this a lot further let's um, assume we need to find all our clients that owe us more than a thousand pounds so we come here to a, um, where we need to select the balance of the account so we come down the list and select balance it's going to be greater or equal than 1,000. So we come down the list and we type in 1,000 pounds. Click on apply. And if we close that, you can see all the account balances in that list are greater than 1,000 pounds. So you're now beginning to see the power of the Sage search. I'll just put the list back into order again. Uh, we can also use um, this facility to build a useful search if a customer wanted to copy invoice for say the last month so in our case here I'm doing this on the 2nd of December we would look at all the invoice is in issued during the month of November now I know in this presentation none of these clients on the system have a month uh, an invoice in the month of November however we will try and um, work uh, as if they have so first of all we want to find the client we're going to have a look at and it's going to be the golf client so we need to find out what their account reference is we can see it here but we could use our search facility to find it so where we look at uh, account name is equal to and then we put use star space golf star and that brings up the client and we see that the account reference is CGS001 I'm going to close um, the customer window and go to the invoicing window so modules and invoicing and there's no invoices in the list there I'll just click on the star and that will bring our full list of invoices so I'm going to search and I've got a search already pre-built, so I will just remove all the um, fields there by pressing F8 to do that. So, the first of all, we need to select the client where account reference is equal to, and the account reference was CGS001. We then press the tab key on our keyboard, and we're going to add the following uh, line to help select the invoices and this will be and invoice date is greater 
than or equal to the 1st of November 2008 and invoice date is less than or equal to the 30th of November 2008. So that we're using fairly natural wording in preparing our search. So to sum up before I click on apply, um, we we are looking where the account reference is equal to CGS 001 and the invoice date is greater than or equal to the 1st of November 2008 and the invoice date is less than or equal to the 30th of November 2008. This will therefore give us any issue, invoices issued to the client during the month of November. We click on apply and as I predicted there are no invoices issued for the client in that period. Close that and that takes us back to our full list of invoices. Um, another good tip is if we just rerun the search it remembers the last search we did so we can rerun the search but you know if a search is on because it will always tell you the number of records, the number out of a number of records um, up here. So you know that you haven't got the full window selected. Um, if we click on the um, icon here, they all come back again. That's the end of this Sage search tutorial. I'm Edward Martin. Thank you for your time.